Hi kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had an amazing week. I know I have had an amazing holiday and I am so excited to come back on here and finally have the Makeup by Mario X Sephora Master Brush Set. I love the packaging on this and I cannot wait to dive into all 13 of these brushes today with you. So girl, it's gonna be an adventure, especially when it comes to this foundation brush, because a little side note, I haven't used a foundation brush in years. So I'm excited to dive back to where I began my roots in makeup with brushes and play around with these and let you guys know what I think while I'm doing my face to get ready for work today. So come on, let's get started. So I'm really curious to see if this is gonna be like riding a bike but we're gonna find out. So without further ado, we are going to rip off that band-aid. We are gonna dip in with the foundation brush and the Stay Naked uh, Medium to Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 20 CP. And I am going to be applying that to my face. So let's get started. We survived the foundation brush. It definitely took me a lot longer than I'm used to. Um, normally I just use my sponge uh, or beauty blender for my base. But I will say I do like the softness of this. It definitely is just really smooth and silky when you're applying it to the skin. Um, for, and for it being a vegan synthetic brush, it is just so beautifully soft to the skin. Um, and it really just helps blend everything in. Again, definitely a really cool, fun uh, foundation brush for this collection. Okay, so the next step in this is going to be concealer. I'm going to be using the concealer brush, obviously, from the Mario collection. And again, this is going to be an interesting journey because I have not used a brush or concealer in a hot minute. Um, again, normally I just use my beauty blender, but I'm definitely excited to try this one out. And again, today I'm just kind of going for a really natural... Um, look so nothing too too crazy so let's see how this applies <music> Definitely, um, it's an experience using brushes. Again, I am so new to using brushes again after so long that I really can't critique them because I don't use them every single day. But I will say I did like it. I I think it really did give me that like detail control that I like under the eye. Um, and then also blending it out, I didn't feel like was that hard. Again, it did obviously take me a little bit longer than a beauty blender. But again, for that detail control, I really do like this. I think it's a really awesome brush. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the powder brush because I need to set my face before I crease. Today I'll be using the Ville Primer from Primer Girl. See, I can't even talk today. I'm going to be using the Veil Translucent Powder from um, Hourglass. I'm going to be dipping in with that brush and then Oh my goodness, this feels so amazing. This one feels like butter on your skin. Literally just butter. Just to set everything into place to kind of help prevent from creasing as much as possible. Make 
sure you get in between that nostril, that nose. I was about to say nostrils, girls. Guys, what am I doing with my life? I have no idea. But it's an adventure. So that's what matters. So after this, I am going to prime my eyes off camera because I am not I could use the concealer brush. I've already primed my lids with the concealer, but I am gonna be using the uh, NYX White Crown today. Um, just to prime my eyes out and get ready for some shadow. Be right back. So off camera, I did, I primed my lids and then I did my brows with my Gimme Brow from Benefit. I am then going to go back in with the uh, brow brush and I'm going to be dipping into the Rustic shade in the Anastasia Soft Glam palette just to add a tiny bit of detail to my eyebrows today and just help fill them in. To be quite honest with you, when I first felt this brush, I was like, oh, absolutely not. I was like, this is really hard, this is really dense, um, a little abrasive. But I will say, when you use it on your brows themselves, it does not feel hard at all. Like, it is this, like, really nice blend, and it really does give that attention to, like, hair-like detail within the actual hairs on your brows itself. So I actually, shockingly really enjoy this pro this brush so i am definitely excited to continue to use it um and definitely learn some more about it and continue amping up my brow game so without further damn do we're gonna move on to the last two steps of complexion and then we'll go into our eyes contour so you may be wondering like hey daryl you're contouring why do you have two contour brushes well i think what's really cool is i actually didn't know this until this morning and then i did some research on these brushes because i was like what am I going to use this one for? I know what this one is. What is this one? I've never seen it before. I've never used a brush like this before. And uh, Mario said that he created this brush with such an angle that actually allows you to get really into that hairline and give that effortless contour. So I'm definitely excited to dip in with these two and do some contour. And today I'm going to be using the uh, Tarte Ave Park Ave Princess. And I'm going to go contour my face. So... Add some color back into my my face, you know, living my best life. So let's contour the house. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this contour over here. She's looking a little crazy. I'm not trying to look like a drag queen today. So we are going to take the foundation brush that I used um, and then just diffuse that ever so slightly. And just like that, we're back to, back to working business. So now time to take the hairline contour, gentle pressure. So this one's really dense, so you it picks up product really easily, so no need to go ham on that contour. So for blush today, I'm actually going to be using the um, Heaven Hughes Highlighter. Again, I really like this pink shimmer shade. Um, to really create a natural dewy look and we're going to be going in with the cheek brush from the collection and then applying that to my cheeks. I literally guys can't even tell you how good these brushes feel like every time I go to use one of these I'm just like it's so soft it's literally like a blanket on my face and it just feels so smooth so high quality too, and I 
I'm actually really loving them. Okay, little pop of color on the cheeks. Now, if you do want to amp this up, I can go in ever so lightly with my baby Climax. Climax. It's not Climax. Climax is a mascara. The mini orgasm. And just pop a little extra color on my cheek. The apples on my cheeks. Just diffuse that out. And there you have it. So, I'm really excited. We are going to be diving in to some eyeshadow using some of these beautiful brushes. But before that, we're going to talk about detailing powder underneath your eye before. So, Mario has this detailed powder brush. Again, this brush is only in the master brush set, but this is really good for detailing powder underneath the eye, also to help prevent creasing. So, we are going to dip into the Veil Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to place this under my eye just to, again, really help keep it from creasing. Do like a baby bake, not something too crazy, but definitely make sure because my under eyes crease the fastest through the day. We'll keep that on, and then we will brush that off once the eyes are done. So, here we go. So, the first shade that I'm going to be dipping into in the Soft Glam Palette is going to be Burnt Orange. And I'm going to be placing that in to the inner part of my eye using the shadow brush from Mario's line. So still using that shadow brush, I'm going to be dipping into Sienna, the next shade over, almost this like... I want to say like chocolate color and I'm going to be placing that over the main part of my lid and then I'm going to be actually using the blending brush from Mario's brush set to blend the two together. Next, I'm going to be dipping in with the detail brush. Again, I like to use the detail brush for me because I like to do the outer part of my eye um, with just a little bit of darkness. So I'm going to be using the rustic shade. Again, we're just moving straight across these three shades here today. Um, I'm going to be placing it in my outer corner using the detail brush. Next, I'm going to be taking that blending brush and dipping into tempura this shade up here just to help really um, cut my brow bone like I love to do in most of my videos and we're just going to take that and swipe it across the top of the brow bone. So off camera really quick I lined my waterline with the Sephora Collection Black Eyeliner and then I'm going to be dipping in with the smudge brush you know what I do with this? I am going to be applying the same three colors that we used on the top of my eyelid to my lower lash line just to create that cool, easy, dramatic look that I love. So starting with burnt orange, then going to sienna for the middle part of the lower lash line, and then ending up with rustic on the outer corner. go to the very last step and using the final 13th brush in this line we're going to go back in with our detail brush and just remove any of that excess powder that we put underneath our eye before we started our eyelid today and then last but not least we'll be going with the highlight brush i'm going to be using the quad makeup revolution highlight and i'm going to be using the gold shade here just to apply that to my cheekbones today
guys, so that was the 13th brush. I'm gonna do my uh, mascara and my lip off camera really quick. I will be back out to let you know what I think about these brushes. Be right back. So guys, here is a finished look today using all 13 brushes out of this amazing set. So the question that I see a lot of people asking is, is this brush set worth the price point of $119? For me personally, I would say absolutely yes for a couple reasons. One, it's 13 brushes. Secondly, they are absolutely beautifully textured to where they really do feel very high quality, almost editorial fashion. And I can really see where he really has taken so much time to really formulate every single brush to really amplify every single stroke that you do to your face. For me, I don't know how to use a lot of brushes and I found that it was actually really easy and really nice to apply them to my face. Um, it kind of took the fear of like, oh no, what brush do I use um, out. So all 13 brushes are here. I just cleaned them and put them back because these are now by far my favorite brushes. And also it's a full set. So it's like, for me, I don't have a lot of full set brushes. Um, so this is definitely my very first um, full collection of brushes from one individual artist again um all 13 brushes 119 dollars they do have the uh complexion brush set and the eye brush set sold separately they are going to miss two brushes out of those if you got them together it would still be 119 but it you're missing the detailed brush and the uh hairline contour brush um that only comes in this one um so again guys i personally think it's a really awesome deal i absolutely love them i cannot wait to try to explore some more with them, watch some of how Mario does his makeup with um, these brushes because as he said in his video, he uses them in different ways that aren't necessarily um, traditional, which I really like because sometimes I use my brushes in ways that I just think that, oh, this brush feels good when I do this. So we will dive into a little bit more. Um, but today I really do like this really natural look. A um, little bit of a glam moment but still cute um as always guys thank you guys so much for your love and support thank you guys for watching this video um give it a like if you liked my um little tutorial on how i used all 13 brushes um out of the mario x sephora collaboration and stay tuned for 2020 guys it's going to be a amazing roller coaster um and i have some crazy news come the new year so with that being said, as always, stay classy, stay sassy, and love your look. Bye, guys.